Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about how to fix iPhone frozen after update. So, you've recently updated your iPhone to the latest iOS version, like iOS 16, iOS 17, or later. Then, you end up freezing on the lock screen and can't get into your device. Some of you might even not reach the lock screen but get frozen during the system upgrade process where you see the Apple logo and progress bar not moving for more than an hour. The screen is frozen after the software update and it doesn't respond to swipe, tap or touch. If this is your case, keep watching and we'll show you what causes the display to freeze and what to do if your iPhone is frozen after the latest update. It's always good to keep your iPhone up to date for fixing bugs, adding new features and keeping up with the latest technology. But you can run into some problems while trying to get through this process iPhone screen frozen after update or during update is one that is very commonly reported. Then, what are the culprits behind this issue? If your iPhone freezes during an update, the root causes might be insufficient storage space, low battery, shabby internet connections, and an overheating environment. If your iPhone is frozen after software update, the root causes might be boot up bugs, iOS software glitches, incompatible system versions, and hardware damage. Now, follow me to try the troubleshooting steps below to fix an iPhone that freezes up during update or after update. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step, making it easy to fix iOS update glitches on iPhone. Besides, if you have any questions, write them down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. 1. Force Restart iPhone It might seem generic, but a simple force restart helps a lot including making your iPhone get out of the frozen screen during or after an update. Force rebooting an iPhone can clear the overloaded memory in a packed RAM, leaving your iPhone able to respond to your commands faster. Therefore, this is a good fix to save your freezing iPhone screen due to the update. Here's what you need to do. If you're using an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or later iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the volume down button and side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. If you're using iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. Hope this trick helps stop your iPhone from freezing from an update and get it running again. 2. Check device network, device memory space and battery. Usually, it might take an hour to install an update on your iPhone. If you find your iPhone keeps freezing during an update process where Apple logo and progress bar don't move for more than one hour, that means the upgrade is corrupted. First of all, do a force restart to get your iPhone out of the frozen update screen with buttons. Once you're back to the lock screen, do the following checks. 1. Ensure that you have a good Wi-Fi internet connection on your device. If needed, check if the Wi-Fi router is working fine. 2. Make sure your iPhone has enough storage. At least 5 GB of memory space is needed to download and install an iOS update smoothly. 3. Keep the iPhone charged with a wall power outlet while updating. More than 85% battery power is an ideal basis for an iPhone to finish an update. Now, do an update again and see if you have Apple iPhone frozen after update or during update problems. 3. Update iPhone via recovery mode. If your iPhone still freezes up after update, there may be other causes. An update install failure, system glitches, crashed Apple server, and so on. All these issues will happen when you update an iPhone through the Settings app or the iTunes or Finder application on a computer. The good news is that you can put the iPhone into a recovery mode to do an update again to fix all these problems. This is also a useful trick to try if your iPhone is freezing and restarting after update. Here's what you need to do. Get your freezing phone and a working USB cable. Get a Windows or a Mac laptop or desktop. Download the iTunes or Finder application on your computer. Once you've prepared everything, now let's start. Run iTunes or Finder on your computer. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a computer. Depending on your iPhone model, you'll need to follow different steps to enter recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. 
For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, iTunes or Finder will detect it and prompt you to update or restore your device. Choose the update option to download and install the latest available iOS version. The process might take a very long time, but it's worth it. Once done, let your iPhone restart. Now, you should unfreeze your iPhone that's frozen after the iOS 16 or 17 update and get it back in working order. 4. Restore iPhone via recovery mode. This is a drastic solution for a stuck iPhone screen after an update or during an upgrade. Because it will completely wipe the device of all your data, apps, and settings. So you will have to make sure that all your essential data is backed up to your cloud storage or an external hard drive before attempting a full factory reset. You should also try this only if doing a forced restart and an update via recovery mode doesn't fix your problem. Here's what you need to do. Run iTunes or Finder on your computer. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a computer. Follow the on-screen instructions to enter recovery mode. For my iPhone 11, I'll need to press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. Now, when you see this dialog box in your computer, choose the restore option to erase all data and settings on your iPhone and restore it to its factory settings. Wait for the restore process to complete. Maybe one hour, maybe three hours. After the restore is complete, your iPhone should restart and prompt you to go through the initial setup process. Follow the on-screen instructions to set up your device. Finally, here are a few tips to prevent your iPhone from freezing again after or during a software update. First of all, place your iPhone in a well-ventilated area to ensure that it can easily dissipate heat and avoid overheating. Secondly, Preserve the battery life of your iPhone and ensure that it's charged in time to have enough power for the update. Additionally, it's important to regularly clear junk files from your iPhone to free up memory and ensure that there's enough space for the update installation. Meanwhile, before updating the iOS version, make sure that all the apps on your iPhone are up to date. Finally, download and install the iPhone iOS version from official sources to ensure a smooth and successful update process. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix iPhone freezing after update. We sincerely hope that the troubleshooting steps we've shared have been effective in resolving your issue. Remember, if you ever encounter any issues with your iPhone or any other device, don't hesitate to seek help in Cora Radar. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.